there's so many people on the internet talking about patriarchy. Patriarchy is this, patriarchy is that. Uh, it's a system where men are in control and power. But just because men are in control doesn't mean it benefits all men. I guess you could, you could think about male privilege being a thing, but there are so many different forms of privilege. And just because you have one doesn't mean that you have like all the rest of them. Hey, welcome to Spiritual Sense, information for your soul. I am Sharice, and I think it's important to discuss how patriarchy is very harmful to men. I think we have enough data on how patriarchy has been oppressive to women, but generally the system does need some work and some adjustments. I think it's interesting in 2021 how many movements we've had about women gaining equality and what that means for the dynamics between men and women. And it's going to be, I think it's all going to benefit us all in the end. So some of the things that are harmful to men because of patriarchy, I think one of the biggest ones is stunted emotional intelligence. And I don't know if you're a man, I think a lot of men grew up pretty similarly in that some of the worst things you could be called were, were derogatory words describe a woman like a woman's body part. Like if you call a man a bitch, that's like really disrespectful, that's like really disrespectful, right? Anything that has to do with feminine, we all have masculine and feminine inside of us and men have masculine and feminine energy inside of them. So the, the insult of something, a woman's body part being an insult is kind of ridiculous because women are strong too, you know, in their own way. But men have been taught by men and women because the system of keeping um, certain people in power, it trickles down to everyone. So women can also be misogynistic, like all the things and teach young boys that it's not okay to show emotion unless it's aggression. Right? A lot of kids are, a lot of boys are taught that aggression, anger is the only acceptable emotion to have when you're a human being and you can experience the full range of human emotion. Men, boys should be allowed to cry. Uh, they shouldn't be met with um, disgust or anger because they've expressed a natural human emotion. You feel feelings and you should be allowed to cry. But the system has put in place that you're not really a man if you do that, which sort of goes into the toxic masculinity and this, this belief that there's only one way to be a real man. And I think men should teach men, how, like men should teach boys, how to become men. Um, what we have now is just a lot of, a lot more single parent households, like across races. It's really not a black thing. Across races, one of the trends has been more single parent households and those are generally run by women and women have boys and girls and so it's it's, it's hard because i'm a woman i i'm gonna be honest, i don't believe women can really raise men to be men, raise boys to be men i think we can guide in a way i think we can expose them to you know really great examples of men but i'm not a man i don't have more masculine energy than feminine energy i'm i'm a woman and i'm very feminine and so the the things that men teach um their aura i think is specific to men and so if a man doesn't have um a man in his life that he can look up to like if he doesn't have his father i think it's a good idea to have like a pseudo father figure because how how else are you going to understand uh, the range of what a man is, does feel? And then I think it's so hard because what we're looking for is a healthy example of what it means to be a man. So you're respectful of others, you look out for others, you provide protect for others. But the, it's the teaching of that that I think is difficult and that patriarchy has made more difficult. Like raising kids is already hard, but then you're also raising boys to be a man in this society that says men can only be one way, it's like kind of hard. If a man wants to exercise more feminine energy than masculine energy, I think that's perfectly okay. I think however he wants to show up in the world is is the way he wants to show up in the world. Uh, if you want to be a masculine man, then I think there's a different way to do that. But what we often see in the media is this hyper masculine, you know, very buff, very um, stoic man when because most men are just not not that because that's like a, a stereotype of men versus the lived reality of what it means to be a man. And I'm not here to tell you what it means to be a man. I'm saying I think there's ways to get to this this answer this like completeness 
of what it feels like to be the best version of you that you can possibly be and to be weary that patriarchy has brainwashed us all into thinking we know what a real man is, what a real man does. Like a real man is your happiest and healthiest self. If you're a man, you're, you're real, real man, your happiest and healthiest self, whatever that looks like to you. But I would generally say find an example in your life of someone that you look up to, want to be like, like we're looking for like positives here. Because of this idea that men are hyper-masculine, um, aggressive, the patriarchy has harmed men in a way that they are generally not seen as victims. And if you're a man or you know men and you've had real conversations with men, you know that men have been assaulted, uh, sexually assaulted, disrespected, demeaned, degraded by women. And that oftentimes it's very difficult for a man to get help, seek help, tell other people because of how society has made it seem as if it's your fault. It's your fault if these bad things happen to you because you're a man and you're supposed to protect yourself and be strong, but you're human like everyone else. And men can definitely be the victims of sexual assault by the hands of a woman or many women or other men. I think that's generally seen as like you could be an actual victim if the other man is bigger and stronger than you then it's then you're seen as a victim whereas like my son we we're having this conversation about um if a woman like if a girl hits him or a woman hits a man what's the best way to respond to something like that because a lot of men are taught don't hit women don't hit women don't hit women but if a woman is beating you hello Protect yourself. Patriarchy has put into a box about these very narrow ideas and ways that we can respond to people. If I like, do not go out of your way to harm someone, but regardless of the gender of the person who is harming you, you need to protect yourself. Like you need to protect yourself. And I feel like this is what the feminist movement was supposed to do. If we're talking about equality for the sexes, then because patriarchy harms men and women, we, pay attention to both. I know that patriarchy has been more oppressive to women, but I really think it's important to also highlight that men have been negatively affected by patriarchy as well. And my last point is about men not being seen as equal parents. Um, and it's, it's weird because in 2021, it, it just feels like so many gender roles are blurred and I am I am okay with that. I like stereotypical gender roles for the most part in my household, but I, I understand that we are living in a new normal and things that men did in the past, like household chores or um, more of the child rearing are more common now than they were in the past. And I think this is an absolute great thing. I am a woman who works outside of the home, who brings in a significant amount of money. And I, I also think that's okay. So in, in that sense, th there are no traditional, like to be a tradition, like very few people are living like a traditional role, but men are generally still not seen as equal parents. Now, you're more likely to see a man lose custody of his kids to the woman um, to have less visitation days than, you know, the mother of the kids. And I mean, I understand that the role of mother is like super important, super important, but the role of father is also super important, like super important. And it's, it's sad to me, frustrating that a lot of the power in custody is given to the woman um like by default you know um and that we've downplayed in our society the role of men the role of fathers when we we need each other you know like we need each other we cannot live exist in this world without each other if there was only one sex left sooner or later the human race would die out like that's not what we need i really think um like my biggest recommendation always is to have real conversations with real people in your life um phrasing you know patriarchy because the term is so emotionally triggering for a lot of people like i don't know if i would use that word if i'm starting up a conversation with someone but i i think as a woman it's important for you to understand the views experiences perspectives of men and to be open 
to the reality of what it is, you know, instead of the idea that we've been taught from society. Men are real people with real emotions, and I think the better we get to know them and understand men, like, the better our lives will be, especially with the weird dynamic that's happening now between men and women. It, like, I think it's necessary. It's very necessary, like, blurring of the gender roles and we're coming, like, everything is falling apart. There's, like, new rules everywhere. Uh, but more than anything, like, talk to people in your life. Have real conversations with people. Love on the men that you know. If you're a man, love on the men that you know. Like, really share and express your gratitude to the wonderful people in your life. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share this video with someone you think it may help. Thank you for watching. Which is sort of like a task. Which is sort of. Which, which sort of goes into the task. Toxic. Which sort of goes into the task. Toxic. Toxic. Which.